Hello everybody, this is All South Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Yakuza 0. In the previous episode, we set out to poach the competition from, well... Yeah, if I could remember where it is, probably somewhere around here. From Odyssey, making a somewhat lucrative deal. And proceeded to learn some new skills, aka how to beat people's head in with a baseball bat. And now we're probably going to be spending the next several episodes going over, uh, different sub-stories, as I did with Kiryu, because that's going to be pretty much how it happens. Anyways, started off helping out this guy who was looking for a forgery, for a necklace for his girl, and, well, we'd best check in on him. Fanson said the for uh, forger's office was around here somewhere. Someone, please, help! What was that? It sounds like Loverboy's in trouble. Ah! P please let me go. Cannot do. You tell real reason why you come here. Wrong answer. Finger go bye bye. Please stop! I'm not lying. I really only want a necklace. I was given that card and told to come here. Cannot be true. This place top secret. Normal necklace buyer cannot find. B -b but I'm telling you the truth. Help! Uh, looks like things went sideways. Good. Hey, he's done nothing wrong. Let him go, will ya? Oh. What? Majima-san. Hmm? Who are you? Ah, you are partner of this guy. This place top secret. You know secret. You know stay alive. Sorry, you have to die. Hold on. One of your guys told me about this office. No one here sell out. No traitor here. You dishonor us. You die now. Ah, oh boy. Alright, let's give these guys a proper beatdown. <laughs> As you can see, that nunchuck move is very good at stun locking people. Wow. I actually wasn't trying to do that. I was just trying to hit hit him with a heat action. Go. Huh, how come so strong? <sighs> if you just give me a chance to explain myself. Oh. What what's going on here? Boys, what happened? Oh. Ah, boss. What happened here? Explain. Boss, these guys say someone tell them about office. They just come in here. Mm -hmm. Huh? These guys Oh, boss, no one tells secret lo office location. We don't tell anyone. Never. These guys lying. Uh, um... Hey, old guy, care to explain? <sighs> Fanson, forget to tell boys here you come. <sighs> oh, come on. So then I give business card. <sighs> oh. That what happened. Very sorry, Majima-san. Yeah. Nothing to forgive. <laughs> ah, very good. Everyone all friend. Happy ending. Good, good, good. Says the guy who shit the bed in the first place. So, we make copy of Destiny Heart Necklace. That all? Uh. Yeah. Can you do it? No problem. We copy weapons. Harder things. Necklace is easy. No worry. We do good job. Top quality. <laughs> Good news, eh? Th thank you so much. Okay, we make right away. No watch us work, though. You go outside a little, okay? Alright. Okay, it's finished. Excellent quality. Well, well, this is damn good work. Wow, it's exactly like the real thing. I'm sure my girlfriend will be delighted. Okay, here you go. Now promise to Majima-san is done. <laughs> yep, we're square. Whew, what a huge relief. Thanks to everyone's help, I can fulfill my promise to my girlfriend. I made it just in time for her birthday. Good, get going then. Hi. Yes, I better get moving. Thank you so much again. Guess that ought to do it, then. 
Still, that necklace. Even a woman's not gonna know it's fake. No problem. I'm sure no one can tell it's not real. Secret's safe forever. Okay. Hope you're right. Vanson says it's okay, but he blows smoke too. I guess we ought to see how this plays out. I'll be on my way too. Thanks. Oh no, no problem. Thank you. Thank you to you. Okay, bye-bye, Majima-san. And no, for the ref... Just for anybody who asks, we cannot work with them in the future. One-time deal. Would be interesting, though. Like, taking a weapon to have them copy it. But it's of a slightly lower quality because it's just a copy. Oh, there's our lover boy. Is he really going to get away with passing a fake necklace to his gal? Happy birthday. Here's your present. Like I promised, it's a heart necklace from Destiny. Wow, really? I can't believe it. It's so adorable. It's crazy popular now, though. It must have been hard to get. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, it was a real challenge to get. <laughs> oh god, he's getting nervous. I have to admit, I was worried. Stores can't keep it in stock, so I wasn't sure you'd be able to get it. Well, you know, uh, I spent a night standing in line, kind of. Spent a whole night in line? You did all that for me? I, uh, didn't, but, well, yeah, something like that. <laughs> really, I'm so happy. I'm tearing up now. Thank you. I love you so much. Th that's good. Glad it makes you so happy. <laughs> uh, he's gonna spell the beans, ain't he? How about that? Looks like he got away with the fake. Huh. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's gonna do it, all right. Mm -hmm. Is something wrong? Oh man, that's the face of a moral dilemma. Sorry. Huh? Why are you apologizing? I have to tell you what really happened. <sighs> whoa, whoa! Don't tell her he's... Tell me he's gonna... That necklace... It's actually... It's actually... It's a fake. <laughs> Pardon? It's fake. Sorry. <clears throat> Why? Why did you try to trick me? It's terrible. So sorry. You gave me a fake for my birthday? I feel like an idiot for being so happy. <sighs> yep, now it's all going to hell in a handbasket. This calls for the Majima touch. Good. Excuse me, lady. Mm -hmm. Pardon? <clears throat> Majima-san. What on earth possessed you to spill the beans, huh? Because when I saw how happy it made her... I couldn't help but feel this horrible guilt. <sighs> hey, in for a yen, in for a kilo. You're gonna get a guilt complex, you shouldn't have faked it to begin with. <sighs> I know, I'm sorry, I'm the worst. <sighs> okay, lady, let me clue you in on this, though. That necklace is fake, and your boyfriend's a dingbat. Can't fault you for being upset. But, he wanted to see you happy. That part is real. <clears throat> huh? You went through a lot to get that fake. The kind of trouble you probably don't want to know about. He ended up in a forger's secret office with his life and his digits in danger. Yeah, he's an idiot, all right. Sure, trying to slip you a fake's a dumb mistake. But he went through all that just so he could see a smile. That desire, that part of it, at least, ain't nothing fake about it. You really went through all that? Ah. Uh. Yeah, I'm sorry. You idiot. How could you be so stupid? What if something happened to you? What am I supposed to do then? I'm sorry. How does a guy who's missing fingers hold his girlfriend's hand? Uh, please. No more lies. Just be honest with me. Y yes I'm really, really sorry. Next time when the real thing is in stock, we'll go buy one together. I don't want it. Huh? I don't want another one. I have this one. But that one's just a fake. It's... it's real enough for me. That makes it unique. Listen to what she's saying. She's telling you the fake that her boyfriend struggled to get shines brighter than the real thing. <laughs> she's a fine lady, you fool. You best be good to her. Hi. Y yes, I will. Majima-san, thank you so much for everything you did for me. For us. Please, I want you to have this. You got a secret wallet, which reminds me I still need to check out that belly warmer I got. From now on, I'll always be honest with my girl. No more faking, only what I really feel. Yeah, that's for the best. Hi. 
Yes, thank you so much. Shall we go? Yep. Ooh, statue man's gathered the crowd. Fake that shines brighter than the real thing, huh? Heh. <laughs> Stay happy, you two. Yep. But before we check out Statue Man, we really should hit up the, uh, Dragon and Tiger. Anyways, gear. Hawker's Belly Warmer. Let's see, makes you more patient, so you recover health while standing still. Well, that's never gonna happen, but still. Secret Wallet. This raises your financial luck slightly, and when shaken down, you can stash money inside, reducing the amount taken from you. Yeah, gonna be very handy for when we eventually run into the, uh, Mr. Shakedown. Anyways, we don't actually talk to Fei Hu about the business, we actually talk to his wife. We got equipment search results. Visit an old rundown shopping district, managed to sneak into the store despite suspicious looks from the shoppers. Things get awkward. Negotiation partner's mom stepped in. Success. Mission went reasonably well. Now, the more money you give, the higher your chances of success, but we're going to be holding off on that for some time. Let's see. Ooh, got a dagger. We got a recipe for a metal bat, and we got steel. Here you can receive equipment, item, recipes... Uh, equipment, item, recipes, parts, or assets found by your agent. Equipment is immediately ready for use. Recipes enable you to craft equipment, provided you have all necessary parts and enough money to pay the fee. If the name of an item is not shown in the crafting menu, it means you have not yet discovered the parts or equipment required to make it. Dispatch agents to various locations to obtain many different types of parts. Once you obtain a new piece of equipment, it also becomes available for purchase in the shop. Crafting it will be cheaper than buying. Mm. Equipment, recipe, parts. Not bad, Fehu. Not bad. I am not a professional agent, but next time we will call on one of the agents in our network. I will continue looking for more agents as well. I hope to expand our network to get better information on powerful equipment and acquire more resourceful agents. As you might imagine, the more valuable the equipment, the harder it is to get. Makes sense, I guess. If you got a one-of-a-kind weapon, you ain't gonna want to sell it to some agent guy. In those cases, the agents can bring back recipes with information on how to create a replica. I can then recreate the item in my workshop. But you need parts for that, so get parts. We have some spare ones here. You can have them. For free. You lucky man. You got lead ingots. You got quality iron. You got iron gears. Timber. Driftwood. Cursed handcuffs. Flintstones. Are they chewable? You can find parts at regular shops, too. Look around and show Fuku Cho. You bring parts here, we make equipment, you bring money, too. Otherwise, we know eat. I can craft or sell you more of any equipment you already obtained in the past. Getting just a recipe without ever having the item made doesn't count, though. Ah. Got it. I send agents off to find recipes and parts for you I, to make me awesome weapons and protective gear. Sounds good. I got, gotta start saving up so I can afford all that. Mm. Wait. Fehu. Eggs. Where eggs? Oh, I'm sorry. I was so busy with the equipment search that I forgot all about shopping. Again. <sighs> um, Majima-san, it will take some time to make preparations for a more substantial equipment search. Uh. Sure, take your time. I'll find something to do and come back later. Good luck with the prep. However, we should also be able to get some training out of him. I wonder how Feihu and Long Hua are doing. I'll drop in to see him later. Or we'll drop in now. Now we can talk to Feihu and probably get that training in, but let's take a look here. Let's see what we can craft. Let's see. We can make lumber. For whatever reason, yeah. The description covers up other things. Let's see. Iron pipe, ball buster, we don't have the parts needed for that. There's also access to knives, two-handed swinging weapons, swords, long swords slash hammers, poles, shotguns, knuckles, unorthodox, launchers, which we don't have any of, tonfas, nunchaku, 
Collie sticks, handguns, bindings. Now we're getting into equipment. Mail, shirts. Honestly, one of the best defensive equipment items you can get is a form of mail. But it's going to be a long, long time before we can get that. Shirts, jackets, protective stuff, basically accessories. Decorative. Amulets. And belts. But nothing really here. No, instead what we're going to want to do is get some training from Fei Hu. And training doesn't actually take that long. We just have to beat him while he's wielding a certain type of weapon. Once you become more familiar with weapons, Majima-san, I will teach you new ways to wield yeah. them. That's really going to be necessary. You gotta be a genius to work out which out that tha 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 to work out which ways the pointy end. Yeah. Consider it part of my service. It would be a shame to leave the full power of the weapons you obtained from me untapped. Mm -hmm. Just saying, I got my own way of doing things. But hey, if you go if you'll go through the trouble, I'll hear you out. I would also recommend that you work at honing your bat skills. There is a wealth of hidden potential there. Mm. You think so? I don't know. I kind of figured bat meat's head was pretty much the extent of it. Yeah. No, you have much more to learn. By my estimation, your bat technique could prove more deadly than even swordplay if you develop it. Yeah. More deadly than a sword? You serious? So this. Quite. The bat and the katana are alike in length. They say some baseball players purchase a katana and practice their swings with them, to heighten their focus. But considered as another class of weapon, the bat's weight resting at the far tip yields exceptional destructive power, making it distinctly different from a blade. <sighs> yeah, they're obviously two different things, but the principle's not so far off, right? Yeah. I'm telling you, there are techniques you could perform with a bat that simply wouldn't be possible using other weapons. I suggest you work on uncovering these. <laughs> You're making a big deal out of this, but a bat's a bat if you ask me. You just whack people with them. This is a truly groundbreaking technique. I will teach you new weapon skills as you progress, but I ask that you show me your bat fighting skills in return. I'll show you anything you want, but I ain't exactly the professor type. Yeah. Hey, I got an idea. Yeah. What is that? When you teach me new weapon moves, how about you take me on with that weapon? I'll fight back with a bat. Mm. It would be difficult for you to pick up new tech techniques that way, I fear. I believe it is better to begin by learning the proper stances and forms. What? You gonna make a pro baller start by playing catch? Ain't exactly... We ain't exactly amateurs here. I'd rather get a feel for a weapon naturally, in a fight. I see. I suppose that method may be better suited to you. <laughs> I've been looking forward to going another round with you anyway. Heh. <laughs> this should be fun. Heh. <laughs> Perhaps that is your true motive. Well, I will be here when you are ready to continue your training. How about right now? Let's start with poles. You wish to learn the pole? Then we will train in actual combat as you suggested, Majima-san. Are you healthy and ready to fight? Yep. Uh. Yeah, I'm good. Then let us go outside. The pole techniques I am about to show you were passed down through generations in China. Ah, so we're doing some real traditional shit now. I am from Taiwan myself, but many techniques originating in China can be found there. The reach differs from a bat, as does the speed of the spinning attacks. Interesting. Let's see it in action, then. I look forward to getting another look at your bat techniques. We should avoid using our more powerful moves. Alright, here I come. In other words, no heat actions. But oh, we do get this kick-ass music. And I'm pretty much just gonna use this Nunchaku technique to stun lock him. It's good for breaking through guards, though. Oh, and, uh... One other thing, there's no grab attack with the slugger style, for obvious reasons, but you just stab with the bat, which is good for breaking guards. And down he goes.
Yee. Yeah, suck it, ancient martial arts. Well done, Majima-san. Let us go back to the store. Hi. I knew you could do it, Majima-san. I tried to slip my attack past your defenses, but the sheer force of your strikes overwhelmed me. You're spinning that thing so fast I thought you'd take off. Not too shabby on defense either, huh? Pole allows you to protect your lower body as well. Try using it when up against multiple foes or opponents that target your legs. Ah. Got it. Thank you for visiting the Dragon and Tiger. And then we're going to go back in, but let me show off that yes, we have indeed gotten a new skill. Proof you've learned to use the pole, but you'll need more training to call yourself a master. Also, you, uh, ta, ta, ta. also usable with other battle styles. So, kind of like the health thing, this applies to all your battle styles, so you don't have to be in slugger mode to get the weapon training. Weapon Master Bat. Your weapon's durability won't drop when wielding a bat as long as you remain calm. So, there are some benefits to being uh, lower in heat. Anyways, let's get some more training in. Kali Sticks. Let's see, Kali Sticks, then we'll train, yada yada. Uh. Kali sticks consist of two short sticks. They are usually made from a wood called rattan. Have you heard the word Kali before, Majima-san? Uh -huh. Nope. Enlighten me. Kali is actually the name of a martial art in the Philippines. It is their national sport. The word Kali comes from the local language. The weapon spread throughout the United States and the word sticks was added. I'll leave out the details, but their practicalities made them popular around the world. Weapon from the Philippines, huh? Who would have thought? But you really think they're world famous? <laughs> yes, it is easy for a simple weapons such as these to take root. <sighs> well, maybe they're just taken off here in Japan then. Only thing I've seen that uses two sticks are taiko drums. <laughs> <laughs> Do not underestimate their potential to cause harm. Uh. Sure, let's get this show on the road then. I look forward to getting another look at your bat techniques. We should avoid using yada yada, more powerful moves, you blah blah blah. Now I should note, these guys are, or he is going to get tougher. As you can see, his health has gone up, so... Oh boy, yeah. So, we probably won't be getting beyond this in terms of training. Ooh, we probably won't even be able to beat this, because I'm not well stocked up. Ah, gotta be careful of that twirl he does afterwards. Ah, dang it. Yeah, if I can get it off this, uh, the Nunchaku move is definitely going to be my go-to thing for this fight. Yeah. 
Ooh, okay. Sara wasn't talking that whole fight, but I needed to focus to take him down. <laughs> yeah, sticks lose. Well fought, Majima-san. Let us return to the store. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call it there on training with Slugger, at least until I can get some more out of it. Excellent fight. Attempted to shut down your offense with my own attacks, but I ended up being overpowered. You're really getting up in my face. Not the right way to use those things? I believe they are best used to press the attack rather than defend. If you land enough blows, you can even stun opponents, making them ideal against swift foes. Uh. Huh, uh-huh. Got it. Thank you for visiting the Dragon and Tiger. Yep, weapon training Kali. Oh, what does that give us access to? Let's see. Proof you learned to use the Kali sticks, yada yada. Weapon Master One-Handed Stick. Your weapon durability won't drop when wielding a one-handed pull as long as you remain calm. Okay. Weapon Master Kali. Well, we don't even have access to that. Alright, gonna call it there for now. So, uh, not for the episode, just for the training. So, I think it's time we check on our living statue, friend. It seems he's drawn quite the crowd. Is that? Yeah, it's that street performer guy. Drew himself a good-sized audience, too. Nice to see. Hmm? What's he doing? Making smoke signals? Better get closer and see what's up. I'm sure if these people would let me through. Yo, Tokokichi, you're pulling a good crowd. Yes, that's been good, at least. So, you seem to be trying to tell me something there. What's up? Yes, I, uh, I need to use the restroom. Aw, oh, man. Mama, why is that man talking to the statue? Shh, he's just a little different. It's rude to stare. Just, thanks to you, people think I'm a nut job. Sorry, but you're the one talking to a statue. So why are you calling me over about your, uh, problems? There's a pizza place right over there. But why not make a beeline for the cra for their crapper? No way! I can't do that. There's a little kid watching. If he saw a statue suddenly spring to life, he might be traumatized for life. I guess that's true. I don't want to shatter that boy's dreams, but I do need to go relieve myself. My eyes are floating. What should I do? Hey man, ignoring nature's call never ends well. Why don't you just sneak off when the little take ain't watching? Sneak him off when he's lo not looking? Th that's it. What? I got a bad feeling about this. I really hate to ask, but can you distract these people? Just long enough for me to sneak off to the pizza place? Who, me? Yes, you. Naturally. I'll compensate you for your trouble. I'm sure you can do it. I don't know why, but I just know. But, please... I don't go soon. I'll traumatize more people here than just that boy. Hmm, what to do? Eh, better help him. Fine, fine, I'll help you. I expect you to make good on this if I pull it off, though. Of course, thank you. Okay, how do I get these folks' attention? I guess I can try raising my voice. The correct response is, look, a UFO! Intimidate them with insults, well, like a banshee, but if we want to get a good reward, we need to make sure he gets to the bathroom, so let's try, shout, look, a UFO. Let's go with our UFO sighting. Not the most creative approach, but... Hey, what's that? Up in the sky! Look! Yeah. It's a UFO! Huh? Huh? A UFO? Where? Where? UFO? There. Now's your chance, Tokokichi. Tuck and roll. Dude, book it. <sighs> what the heck? There ain't no, no UFO up there. Yeah, forget it. This statue's the real deal. Huh? What? Am I imagining things? Wasn't that statue over this way a bit more? Well, at least he managed to scoot a little. What to do next, hmm? Maybe a little performance would draw their interest. Sing a song, is the correct response. Alright, time to debut my singing chops. Out of the blue, I bring I bring my singing to you! Sunaoni, I love you! Todo 
けよう、きっと揺らみ、伝わるさ、君に似合うガラスの靴を探そう。Oh. Oh. Haha, <laughs> you gotta be brave to break out singing an, singing a cappella in public. You got pipes, buddy. Oh, I think I know this song. Now's your chance, Tokokichi. Haul your ass. Huh. Acapella's not all that exciting, though. Back to the statue. Huh? huh? You idiot. You're facing the wrong way. Ah. Uh, Mama, statue son has turned around. I wasn't imagining it. The statue is moving. Crap. This cover's blown. Now what? Hey, one eyed Willie, you're annoying as hell. Hmm? Quit your lame ass singing. What's wrong with you, man? You think you're some kind of street idol? Listen, pal, trust me on this one. I ain't singing because I want to. Bullshit. I saw you prancing around. You enjoy being dumb. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you for it. Well, if nothing else will distract him, this will. Now, the thing about, uh, heat, about, uh, slugger mode is it doesn't have a whole lot of heat actions. At least not using the pummeling bat. you basically got two of them to work with. Not including the downed one. And we technically already saw one when we learned the move. Mm. I'm sorry. Please, let me go. Spineless blowhard. Wow, that was spectacular. What the? Wow, man, you rocked it, buddy. That was awesome, mister. You are like one of those heroes on TV. Whoa, I don't know how I did it, but I got everybody's attention on lockdown. Now, Tokokichi, escape. Oh, now he chooses to run for it. There, he made it to the Pizza Palace's porcelain throne. What? The, the statue. It's gone. Eh? It is gone. How did that happen? Mama, where did statue song go? I... I don't know. I'm not sure how that works. Mm. So weird. But I guess we got a free show out of it, so fine by me. Oh, no. I'm meeting someone. I have to run. We should be on our way, too. Yeah, but that was fun. There. Guess that's the end of that. Now we gotta go talk to him. Ah, my savior. Yo, did you make it to the crapper in time? Yes. You are so good at distracting everyone, I made it to the potty... Made it before the potty emergency got real. Crisis averted. Is that so? Glad to hear it. Gotta hand it to you, though. Ain't an easy thing holding people's attention. That's the truth. People think it's easy to draw attention to yourself, but what they don't understand is how hard it is to hold it once you've got it. Uh-huh. You street entertainers are something else. That's music to my ears. When I hear recognition like that, it makes it all worthwhile. It's not much, but please, take this with my thanks. We got a stamina in Royale. If you didn't do so good at distracting them, you'd only get a stamina in X. By the way, you've got a real talent for performing in public yourself, you know. I don't know about that. No, you really do. You have an air about you that really holds people's interest. Your action-packed performance at the end was icing on the cake. It was so amazing. I just couldn't look away. It was so inspiring, I almost forgot to sneak off. But that brawl wasn't a performance. It really was spectacular. It made me realize how much more I need to grow as a performer. You inspired me to keep working hard at this. Well, thank you very much. I hope you'll keep honing your performance chops, too. Let's both keep bringing smiles to people's faces. Hey, I told you, I'm no entertainer. <laughs> I mean, you work in entertainment industry. With the cabaret and all. Well, there goes an odd duck. But I, you gotta respect that it ain't easy making people laugh or bringing them joy. Being an entertainer is as tough as any other business. Yeah, yeah it is. Now then, this next sub-story. It will tell you to head to Far East Shochofuko Street, 
near the taxi. Uh, yeah, that's actually not where you're supposed to go. Where you're supposed to go is over here by the Buna Zeman Outdoor Mall. It took me a while to find this story because of that. And because of the way that the streets are labeled around here. But anyways, we head this way and we should be good to go. Hey, you there. Hey, you there. Hmm? Listen, can I get you to come over here? What's with this weirdo? <laughs> uh, thanks for coming over. Phew, I'm saved. So what's your problem? What do you want? What the hell? You... Where the hell are your pants? That's why I called you over. Do me a favor. Can I borrow your pants? Huh? Your pants. The pair you got on now. As you can see, I had my bon bonton pants taken. Come on, pal. I'm in trouble here. As to that, I give you my pants and I'm the one standing around in my skivvies. You take me for a fool? On... Why did they have to pick that angle? Oh, now, don't be that way. No self-respecting young fellow with a whole future ahead of him can go out in town with his underwear exposed, right? Uh -huh. Did you hear me the first time? I give you my pants, then I'm the one swaying in the breeze here. <sighs> yeah, what a waste of my time. My fault for Karen. Uh -huh. Hey, hold up. Leave me your pants. <laughs> you want them so bad, you can try to rip them off me. Fine, screw it. I'll put your underwear on display for the whole world to see when I jack those pants. Menacing my ass. Come on, get your butt up so I can beat you down. I... I'm sorry, really. I was way out of line. <sighs> For F's sake, what is with you, man? Explain, from the top. I... I'm Toru, and I go to Soton North High. Just before you came by, I got mugged by the Bontan Hunter. <gasps> Bontan Hunter? The hell's that? Uh, well, to put it simply, Bontan pants are like school uniform pants, but they got high waists and are super puffy around the thighs. The, uh, cool kids wear them. No, I know what a Bontan is. So the Bontan Hunter attacks guys wearing Bontan and acting bigger than their britches. He beats them up and takes their Bontan as a trophy. So the gist of it is, this guy kicked your ass and left you with your tidy waities on display. Oh. Pretty much. There's nothing I could have done about it, though. The Bontan Hunter's this really weird guy. Weird? Like how? There's something messed up about him. Big guy, but likes to jump people from behind and pummel him. On his back? He's back. Oh, great. What? What's the tat? Yeah. Nah, he's got this tiny student backpack. Yeah, dude. Student backpack? Like from elementary school? See what I mean? He's just messed up in the head. You try getting jumped by someone that loopy, it's just flat out scary, man. Uh. He's been going at it every day, too. The way things are going, there's gonna be more victims going pantsless around here. Well, now I'm the one story richer and a shit ton of time poorer. That's all got nothing to do with me. Huh? Whoa, whoa, hold on now, please. You can't leave me here like this. Can you get my pants back for me? They say he shows up near Magu Taco a lot. Bastard's tough, but I bet you can take him. My Bontan's as good as back with you on the hunt for the t on have had the hunt for the hunter. Please. <sighs> can't think of any good reason why I'd want to help your sorry ass. Forget you saw me. Oh, but this backpack toting guy. Gotta admit, it's kind of intriguing. He does his hunting near Magu Taco, huh? Yes, but he's a tough customer, so I need to go stock up on medicine before I take him on. And Daikoku Drugstore is basically the same as it was, well, in Kamurocho. That's where we're going to go to stock up on medicine. So I'll be back once I've taken care of that. Oh boy. Well, on the way to the drugstore, I got dragged into another substory. Hmm? What's that girl doing by herself? She lost? Eh, I'm not gonna talk to her yet. I wanna take care of this substory first. Anyways, uh, see you guys once we've bought up everything at the drugstore. Never mind! Seems I can't walk more than a few feet without running into a substory. What am I going to do? Oh, what to do? Y you 
Uh, Majima, somebody's talking to you. Excuse me. Huh? Er, um, well, the thing is, you want something from me, don't you? Let's hear it then. Y yes, what I'm trying to say is, uh, er, listen, whatever you're chewing, I can take it. Spit it out. I, I have a favor to ask. Can you please be my boyfriend? Oh, well, this is going to be the next sub-story we're going to tackle anyways. Say what? Am I hearing you right? I said please be my boyfriend. Please, pretty please. What, just like that? Your boyfriend. You mean like you want to be a couple go on dates? What the hell? Yes, that's exactly it. That's what a boyfriend does. You would be my one and only. Boyfriend? Right, okay, back it up a step or six. What the heck's with this little lady here? Just run up to me on the street demanding that I be her man? Every girl I meet these days makes me understand me less and less. Yep. I gotta get it together. I can't let her know she's got under my skin. I'll give her a strong answer like, don't even think you've won, little lady. Let's start as friends. Uh, it doesn't matter what you start off with, but there are going to be some responses that do matter. Let's start as friends. What do you say we start as friends, huh? No, no, I need a boyfriend, not just a friend. Come on now, let's hear that extra syllable that says you're mine. What? You can't just expect a man to jump straight into the girlfriend step. Gotta be more natural, you know? Oh, darn it, I've left out a few details, haven't I? Yeah, I'd say you have. I should clarify, I guess... I guess. I need you to pretend to be my boyfriend, not actually be my boyfriend. Excuse me? Pretend. Hi. Yes. You see, my father is visiting from back home, and he's demanding to meet my boyfriend. For several years, he's been hounding me to meet suitors he's arranged for me. He was getting so persistent that I finally got fed up and told him that I already have a boyfriend, so back off. I also told him my boyfriend is thin, wears an eye patch, cool ponytail, and has a dangerous air about him. Kinda like the blade of a knife. Seriously, you just described Majima to a T. Why would you give him so many details? Why did you just describe me down to the buttons? I never thought I'd have to introduce him to my father, so I just kind of made it up as I went. But then Dad started saying, I have to see if this boyfriend is worthy of marrying you. So here I am, and I've got a big problem. Okay, I get the picture now. I fit the bill, so you want me to act like I'm your man in front of your dad. Wow, you catch on fast. That's pretty much it. If Dad finds out I don't really have a boyfriend, he'll force me into an arranged marriage with some strange man I don't even know. Please, nobody else looks anything like you. Could you be my boyfriend for just a little while? <sighs> Fine. Girl's in a pickle, all right. Who'd want to marry some guy they don't even know and end up spending the rest of their life with him? You know, somebody doesn't understand the concept of divorce. <sighs> Fine. Painted yourself into this corner, but I feel your pain. I'll pretend to be your boyfriend. Yes, I'm so glad I didn't lose hope. Huh? Oh, and my name is Kokoa. Please, call me Koko-chan. Oh, and sorry, I didn't catch your name. Goro Majima. I see, then Majima-san. I will address you as Goro-chan. Goro-chan? We just met. That's taking things a little fast, don't you think? No, no, I know it's just pretend, but we are in a romantic relationship. We can't be so formal with each other. We have to make this believable. <clears throat> uh, if you say so. Yes, I do. Well, let's not waste any more time. We should get going. Like, right now. Huh? I'm getting exhausted already. And what's this about going? Going where? Come on, try to keep up. We're going to the restaurant where we'll meet my dad over dinner. The three of us. We're gonna meet over dinner? I got nothing to say to your dad, Coco-chan. What you... what make it so we meet, shake hands, and then let me go, why don't you? Bing bang boom. Oh, no, that won't work at all. That won't be reassured unless I show him what kind of man my boyfriend is. We have to go now, Goro-chan. Get a move on. Damn, I don't know what I was expecting. But here we are. Here we are. So, Goro-chan, this is where we'll meet my father. We only have two requests. Please don't reveal that you're just pretending to be my boyfriend and don't anger him. You got it. But what's all this about making him angry? Your dad get pissed off easily? Oh no, he's just stubborn. 
He's not scary, though. He seems to think I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, and he babies me more than he should, but underneath it all, he's as good a father as I could ask for. Well, I suppose it's tough to blame the guy. If I had a daughter like you, I'd be pretty worried, too. You see? So if you start saying a bunch of weird stuff, he'll blow his lid and be all like, Forget this guy, I'll arrange your next date. So let's avoid that. No problemo. So, let's go over my boyfriend's backstory now. Excuse me? I need a backstory? We've been going out for six months. You're a dentist who likes going out on drives and watching movies. And your favorite food is the omelette rice I make. Okay? Uh, what was all that now? I had to give my dad some details about my boyfriend, so I made some stuff up. If he gets curious, can you make sure you've got it memorized? Well, you ain't exactly making this a walk in the park. How am I supposed to remember all these details? Fine, from the top. We've been going out for six months, you're a dentist, you like going out on drives and watching movies, and you love the omelette rice I make, okay? Ah, I'll give him my best shot. There he is. Dad, over here. So, this is Koko-chan's dad. Unlike his space case of a daughter, he seems pretty buttoned up. Garo-chan, this is my father. Hello, I'm Kokoa's father. Pleased to meet you. And this is the man I'm seeing, Goro Majima-san. You know, now that I think about it, meeting a girl's dad for the first time is a super important, super important for a normal couple. This could end up making an impact on the rest of her life. I guess I'd better buckle down and get into this role properly. No different than at the Grand, right? First impressions key. What do I open up with? Pleased to meet you, sir. I'm Goro Majima. Pleased to meet you, sir. I'm Goro Majima. Majima-kun, was it? I understand my daughter looks to you for a lot of support. Support? Oh no, in fact, it's quite the opposite. Kokoa-san is stolen by me at every turn. Well, how courteous of you. Something that gets me these days is the erosion of courtesy in today's youth. So many can't even manage a proper introduction. You seem different, Majima-kun. That's right, Dad. Garo-chan's not like those stereotypical men. Good. First impression went well. Playing the respectful type was a pretty slick move. Majimikun, I must say I'm surprised. You really do exist. Sorry, I really need a drink. Doing these back-to-back -back is murder on my throat. And I beg your pardon? Well, my daughter described you as a man who is tall yet slender-waisted, sports an eye patch, has long hair tied back, and emits a deadly aura not unlike a dagger's edge. Never imagined such a man could actually exist. Yet, here you are, in the flesh. See, Dad? I told you I wasn't lying. My boyfriend's right here in front of you. Yes, I'd figured he was another figment of your overactive imagination, so I'm really quite shocked. Huh? Overactive imagination? Dad, I don't make things up that often, do I? <laughs> well, they do seem to be on good terms, and her dad's a decent guy, too. Stern, but decent. Oh, yes, Majimekun. Kokoa may have mentioned it already, but what line of work are you in again? My job, huh? Oh man, I think Kokoa mentioned that in the backstory she gave me. I'm a dentist. I'm a dentist. Oh yes, yes, that's right. I'd heard you're a dentist. I never would have guessed from your appearance. Not the face I'd expect from a dentist, after all, to be frank. I get told that often, yes. Oh, Dad. You're being so rude to my Goro-chan. Oof. I'm just glad I remembered what Koko Koro-chan told me before in that hack job of a backstory. Incidentally, Majima-kun. Yes? I was wondering, how did you come to meet Kokoa? Oh, that's, uh... I didn't ask you, I asked Majima-kun. But, tell me, Majima-kun, how did you two get to know each other? What the? He's prying pretty deep. Is he onto us? I gotta explain how, suppose, how I supposedly met Koko-chan in a way that won't make him any more that, that won't make him more suspicious. And we sat next to each other at a movie. We happened to sit next to each other at a movie theater. That's how we met. A movie? Uh, come to think of it, Kokoa did mention that you enjoy movies. Yes, like I said, Koko-chan just happened to sit next to me. That flick was a real tearjerker, so I offered her my handkerchief, and the rest is history. Yes, that's how it went. Amazing, Goro-chan. I can't believe you came with such... I mean, I remember it like it was 15 minutes ago. It was so romantic. I mean, it may as well have been 15 minutes ago. Well, what a fortuitous meeting, then. 
I'm just glad she didn't meet her boyfriend in any places she shouldn't be. Of course not. My Gorochan is a proper and decent man. There, I wove in Coco's chans backstory and came up with a tale that rings true enough. Majima-kun, I'm going to put it to you straight. What is it about my daughter that you find attractive? Dad? Why would you put him on the spot like that? I'm sorry, Kokoa, but I'm just so worried about you. You're still so innocent, like a child. It keeps me awake at night worrying about whether or not you'll ever manage to live a proper and prosperous family life. There's a man who would love you and treat you well. Why, I would give you my blessing for a marriage right this instant. Dad, uh, that's why I need to ask Majima-kun. What about Kokoa do you find attractive? He's looking into my soul here. I guess I can't blame him. His daughter's future is on the line. I don't like tricking him, but I told Koko-chan I'd go along with this. Gotta find a good reason why I find her so attractive. She's innocent and childlike. The omelette rice thing is just a decoy. She's innocent and childlike. I actually kinda like how innocent and childlike she is. Really? Wouldn't you consider those her poorer qualities? I suppose most would. But seeing her loose in the world makes me want to keep her safe and protected. You know what I'm saying? I love her for who she is. That means I'll make the I'll take the bad with the good. Majima-kun, you're willing to accept everything about my daughter, even where she falls short. I think I can entrust a man like you with my Kokoa. Dad. Damn, this got real touching all of a sudden. Huh? Oh, would you two excuse me? I need to go wash up. Uh, sure, honey. Uh, don't fall in. Wait a sec. With her powder in her nose, it's down to just me and her old man. Damn. Awkward. Majima-kun? Y yes I have no idea who you really are, but thank you for playing along with my daughter's lie. Eh? Her lie? What lie? This one doesn't actually matter. I got no idea what you mean. What lie? <laughs> You can stop pretending. I knew this was all an act from the moment I sat down. Was it that obvious? You knew from the start what gave us away. I could tell just by the way my daughter was acting. It wasn't her father. I wasn't her father for all those these years for nothing. Why'd you go along with this dumb charade for so long? Mm. Kako was so desperate to convince me. It's my fault she tried to stunt like this, isn't it? I'm sure it's because I kept pushing her into dates with all those suitors I'd arranged for her. You know your daughter well. You saw right through her. I lost my wife when Kako was still an infant. Raised her alone, without anyone else's help. I tried to raise her well so no one would look down on her for not having a mother. But I know I've been overly protective of her. I can see now that she's capable of standing on her own two feet. I gotta stop telling my daughter to do this or that. No more pushing her to meet potential suitors. She's her own woman. It's time I learned to let go. But the truth is, there's another reason I went along with your little charade. What's that? Someday my daughter's going to bring a real boyfriend to meet me. And I thought this might be good practice. Practice, huh? Thanks to you, I got a good idea of what to expect. When the time comes, I think I'll manage. Ah, it still ain't a good feeling to spend so much time lying to someone who knew from the start. But I gotta tell ya, I think avoiding an arranged marriage wasn't the only reason Koko-chan pulled this stunt. What do you mean? I think she was trying to show you that you don't need to worry about her so much. Worry? Yeah, pretty plain to see that she's the source of a bundle of your worries. I think she wanted to reassure you that she's capable of looking after herself. She wanted to prove to you she can manage her own affairs, like get married. Sorry, I'm back. I hope that wasn't too awkward for you guys. Did you even break the silence? Welcome back, Koko-chan. So, listen, your dad actually knew... Majima-kun. Yes? Kokoa, you've done well finding this man. I had nothing to worry about after all. Dad. <laughs> I know, right? Garachan's a superb guy, so this means you'll stop trying to set me up, right? Yes, I can see there's no longer any need. Really? Awesome. It's been an awfully long day. I'm heading back to my hotel. Oh, okay. I'll walk you back, Dad.
Garachan, thank you so much for being my boyfriend for even just a few minutes today. <laughs> You're a crazy good actor, by the way. I almost forgot you weren't actually my boyfriend for a second there. Glad I could do you a solid. Let me give you this, then. Thank you very, very much. You got a sprite belt. That is your maximum reward for getting everything right. If you get fewer things right, you'll get fluorite times five, and at the bottom of a heat, you'll get a bulletproof glass amulet. Whatever, whatever the case, I think I'm free from Dad hounding me to meet his suitors. What a relief. Oh, something I forgot to mention. Uh, in the From the Heart that we did last... No, that we finished this episode, we also get a Riri Kuribayashi video clip at Ganhara. We'll also get Gokoa Aisu's video clip from this. That's good. Yes, well, I have to walk my dad to his hotel. Oh. Yep, when you get a real boyfriend, you better do a proper introduction so he doesn't have to worry about you. Hi. I'll try. Bye now. Gokoa, I forgot something. Give me just a oh. moment. Oh, okay. Huh? Something wrong? Majima-kun, there's one last thing I need to say. Huh? Eh? What's that? Majima-kun, I'm glad I got to talk to you. You went through all the bother of pretending to be my daughter's boyfriend just for my sake. You're a good man. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't trying to put one past you. Don't give me too much credit, you know. Credit now. No, no, not at all. That's why... I'd like it if you would take be my daughter's real boyfriend. And now it gets weird. Excuse me? Wh what did you just say? I said, won't you please ask my daughter out for real? Uh, consider it for a moment. Please? What in the fresh hell makes you think that's a good idea? Because you're the ideal man. I think I can safely entrust her future to you. The dude's an ex-Yakuza. She's trying to get back into being a Yakuza. Whoa, slow down. I'm having trouble believing my ears. You can start by just pretending. That's fine. Heck, if she won't take you, I will. Did you just say what I think you did? Yeah, Dad, what's all this about? Give me a break, you two. This is why I'm single. Good boy. Well, unfortunately, with all that, we don't have time to finish off the Rise of the Dragon. But let's at least check out this new accessory we've got. It is said that this belt harbors sprites that lend aid to craftsmen. It slows down the durability loss of weapons. Eh, not bad, and I don't really have anything else. I wouldn't want to use my sacrifice stone or my enduring stone. But anyways, uh, I'm going to end this off here for today. I'm going to take care of shopping for medicine in between episodes, and then we'll just get straight back into the Rise of the Dragon substory when we come back. But for now, I'm going to end things off here for today. If you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for an upload. Ooh, something shiny. And uh, don't forget to hit that the straw poll link in the description below to uh, vote for our next Let's Play. And please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.